I was initially alerted to the fire um, when we had the fire alarm um, that we actually thought was a car alarm and then as we got closer to the property we realised that there was smoke coming out of the windows. The reaction when we figured it was a fire was to phone 999 for the fire service which is what I did. Um, Harriet went to check to see if there was anybody in the property um, when we realised that Richard was in there um, he gave us the okay to um, smash the window which is what Harriet did. The fire started because I was smoking and I must have dropped off because it was late and um, the cigarette dropped on the um, blanket and started to smoulder. Eventually it was burning. I managed to um, get a bucket of water and threw it over and I was trying to do more but there was so much smoke I couldn't see what I was doing. And I'm to be eternally grateful to Hayley and Harriet for what they did. Thinking back now, yes, it was scary entering the building, but at the time we didn't really give it, give it a second thought because there was someone in there that needed our help. I think what gave us the courage to enter the building was probably, you know, we'd had a couple of drinks, which is one factor, and the second is probably um, the fact that if that was one of our family members, we would hope that someone would do that for them as well. When we got home, um, we didn't think of it as saving someone's life. We didn't really have time to think about it. We didn't think, you know, that we would be classed as heroes because that's that's not what we are. We just, we just, I don't know. Our main concern was Richard. And when we couldn't find out any information um, about Richard or what was going on with Richard, you know, we were quite upset or, because we, we wanted to know how he was. He was the main concern.